Okay, lipids, water insoluble. You can't dissolve fat or oil in water. Know these four types. Know these characteristics. Okay, a fatty acid is a long chain of carbon plus hydrogen attached to a carboxyl group. Here's the carboxyl group. If you have all single bonds, that's a saturated fatty acid. If you have double bonds, that's uh, unsaturated. So notice a fatty acid has a long chain of carbon with hydrogen. Here's the long chain, and it has a carboxyl group right here. A triglyceride it has three fatty acids joined to one glycerol. Cholesterol has this four ring structure. It allows you to build testosterone, estrogen, aldosterone, cortisol, and it's part of cell membranes. Phospholipids. Okay, here's the hydrophobic portion. Here's the hydrophilic with nitrogen and oxygen. So this is the head of the phospholipid. These are the tails. So these are the hydrophobic tails. This is the hydrophilic head. Proteins contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and some, and some sulfur. Read through this. Ah, here's the amino acid. So... The amino acids I show on screen have a carboxyl group and they have an amino group and a central carbon and they have a wild card that is an R group. Here's two examples of amino acids. They end in I and E. Here's another example of dehydration synthesis. You take out water and put, this is a peptide bond between this carbon, this carbon right here, and this nitrogen. Our proteins are made of chains of amino acids. They have different shapes. Their shape determines their activity. Read through this. Okay, let's go back to WebAssign. Okay, so let's go back to our amino acid. And here is the carboxyl group. Here's the amino group. Here's the central carbon. And here's the chain of hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, Tanner, you still there? You got a question? Uh, I mean, not for this. But when you explained what it was and how you uh, showed below, if you hover over it, it shows like the oxygen, or it shows below like it's carbon or it's hydrogen or it's oxygen, whatever right. the case may be. I didn't, I didn't know that. So, okay. but if this were to change now, if this molecule or your this diagram here were to change to a different look. Um, I'd be confused. I think there was a different one in a different section. Okay, but, we'll, we'll I mean, go to a, we'll go to a different we'll go to a different assignment. Okay, back to web assign. Let's go back to my assignments and let's go to biomolecules. Okay, here's a fatty acid. Everybody see a long chain of gray and white and red on the end? Is that true, Tanner? You see that? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is a fatty acid. What compound is, what element is this gray ball? Anybody? 
Starts with a C and ends in an N. Backbone. What is it's the backbone, but what is this? Gray ball represent carbon. Carbon was the little white ball represent hydrogen. Starts with an H and ends in an N. Hydrogen. Come on, make a guess, somebody. What is it? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. hydrogen thank hydrogen. you. What kind of chain is this? Hydrophobic or hydrophilic? It's all a, it's a hydrocarbon, so it's hydrophobic. It fears water. So anytime you see hydrogen and carbon in these long strands, they're hydrophobic because they fear water. This is the carboxyl group, a carbon with, and the double bond doesn't show up here, but this is uh, oxygen, oxygen is very, a very electronegative atom. So it's, these bonds are not, are polar. So this is called hydro, part of the fatty acid. Question. Makes sense. Okay, so how would I answer this one? Let's go ahead here. The hydrogen of the carboxyl group. Right there. Click there. Acidic solutions have a pH above 7. No, they have a pH below 7. Vinegar has a pH of 3. That's true. That's an acid. Protein and nucleic acids work only in solution. True. Water dissociates ionic bonds to produce solutions. True. Okay. Salts or electrolytes. We just talked about that. True. Electrolytes stop. No. They cause the flow of currents. False. Okay. Submit answer. What in the hell is that? They lock you out? I don't know. Let's go back in. Okay, let's go to student view. Okay, let's do that again. Uh, biomolecules. Okay, here we are again. Let's do that again. The hydrogen of the carboxyl group. Carboxyl group, you click there, that's hydrogen. This is the carboxyl group. Acidic solutions have a pH of above seven, no false, below seven. Vinegar has a pH of three. Uh, true. Did I put false there? Yep, okay. These only work in solution. That's true. Uh, water dissociates ionic bonds to produce solutions. Yes, that's true. Okay. Salts or electrolytes. True. Uh, electrolytes stop the flow of electrical current. No, they allow current to flow. False. Submit answer. Okay, seven out of seven, that's correct. There you go. Everybody feel better now? Yeah, what's your, your explanation of the diagram above is very helpful because at first I was just clicking at random spots. I didn't know what part was what. So your explanation okay. was really good. Do you see my, do you see my red arrow? Yes, sir. Okay, yes. so you're talking about this diagram right here? Any, any one of them, they're all, they all change. So now that you kind of explained it a little bit, I just understand. So, okay, all yeah. you gotta know, all you gotta know is that this is a single bond. This is carbon. 
this is hydrogen. So if we go down here and we look at it again, you can see that if you click there, it's going to tell you it's carbon. It's going to tell you it's hydrogen. And over here, it's going to tell you that these are oxygen. These are three-dimensional representations of what these molecules look like. So let's look at that again. This is a fatty acid because it has a hydrocarbon chain. Why is it called hydrocarbon? Because it contains hydrogen and carbon. If you have hydrogen and carbon, you have an oil, a wax, a very hydrophobic substance, or part of a molecule. If you see oxygen, oxygen is very electronegative. It attracts electrons. So this is the hydrophilic, water-loving part of the molecule. So we want to do another one, a new randomization. OK, so the single bond connecting the carboxyl group to the hydrocarbon chain right there. Click there. This is the carboxyl group. Glucose and fructose are found in body fluids. True. Sucrose is a monosaccharide? No, it's a disaccharide. False. Hydrogen bond, it helps explain the properties of water. Yes, very important for the properties of water. True. Oop, what did I put? True. Oops. Okay. A neutral solution has a pH of 7. True. The interaction of chemicals establishes, yes, true. Nutrients or molecules synthesized are broken down by chemical reactions inside the body, true. Okay, submit answer. Okay, so what did it say? The single bond connecting the carboxyl group to the hydrocarbon chain. So. There's the single bond. This is the carboxyl group. Each one of these is a high carbon joined to hydrogen. So this is a fatty acid. OK. So let's go back to our meeting. Stop recording to save that. OK, stop.